Hello! Welcome to my Sans 3 Minute Max. I'm Kevin Ripa. In today's episode, I want to talk about setting expectations. Now, that may seem like an odd thing to talk about when we're talking about information security and, and digital forensics, but it's all about the expectations. And uh, to coin a phrase from uh, uh, Brian Simon, uh, beware the perfect solution fallacy. And this matters across the entire DFER spectrum, across the entire InfoSec spectrum. How so? Well, you don't want to not do something because it might not be successful. And we see this in InfoSec all the time. People making excuses like, well, what's the use in doing that? You're not going to catch 100% of the evil. Or in forensics, why would we bother with that? The chances of that bringing something up for us are so slim. So what? Do you put a seatbelt on? Yeah. Is a seatbelt going to protect you from getting killed in 100% of car accidents? No. But it's better than a shot in the head with a frozen squirrel. It's better than nothing at all. It's going to protect you more times than it's not. That's what we have to think about. If I can cut down 80% of the threats in my environment by doing something versus stopping nothing because I didn't do it, well, that's 80% of the threats that we've mitigated. Let's give that some thought. What about on the forensic side of things? Well, I'm not going to look, I'm not going to do a search word uh, query in unallocated file space because uh, the odds of it coming up with anything, well, they're pretty slim. And besides, if I do get a hit in unallocated file space, how much does that help me? I have no attribution. I don't know who did it. I have no temporal uh, idea when it happened. I don't know when it came to be on the computer. It could have been on the computer when it was bought used by the current user. Yeah. That's true. But what if it wasn't? How about that artifact in unallocated file space? It turns out to be an email. Well, guess what? The email doesn't exist on the computer in the file system anymore. But quite frankly, the email is still going to have from and to and the date and the time. How is that not actionable intelligence? It absolutely is. Don't ever fall victim to the perfect solution fallacy. Some is better than none. Keep that in mind. We've got some great SANS training coming up in the following few weeks. Go to SANS.org to see what's on the lineup. Remember, in the Cybercast format, it's like you're there, but you don't have to wear pants. Let's keep that in mind. I, I am, just, just so you know. We'll see you tomorrow on another episode of 3 Minute Minutes Max.